Happy Halloween! Hope you're staying dry out there. Here are the headlines you need to know for your spooky afternoon news brief. On Tuesday evening, Madison County officers arrested a woman after it was reportedly discovered that she was attempting to smuggle drugs into the Madison County Detention Center. According to police, they received a tip earlier about potential narcotics being concealed within a pair of shoes being brought in by Quanisha Ballard. Officers observed her walking into the waiting area and detained her in order to conduct a search of these shoes. The search allegedly resulted in the finding of a plastic bag which police say contained suspected cocaine. According to the citation, Ballard was believed to have been planned to drop the shoes off to a current inmate inside the facility who would then introduce the contraband inside the jail. Upon arrest, Ballard was searched where officials allegedly found suspected methamphetamine. Ballard was charged with first-degree trafficking and controlled substance for cocaine, first-degree promoting contraband, and first-degree possession of a controlled substance for methamphetamine. Kids now can have two chances to trick-or-treat and a chance to score a lot of candy. Due to the weather, trick-or-treating in Madison County has been moved to Saturday night, November 2nd. However, families who still want to trick-or-treat tonight on Halloween are invited to EKU's Alumni Coliseum for Halloween and Hoops, an indoor event that will fill up the candy bags without getting trick-or-treaters soaked. The event will feature a costume parade and contest. Admission is free and this includes general seating. Members of the Kirksville Volunteer Fire Department will be a little safer now thanks to a $50,000 grant they will receive. Some of the grant money will be used to purchase eight new air packs and face masks. Currently, the 45-member department is using equipment which is five years outdated. An earlier $20,000 grant allowed the department that answers around 110 calls a year to replace its entire fleet of fire hoses. And the WBONTV crew was invited to the campus of Berea College to learn about the university's more supernatural locations. Student Cindy Coleman was our tour guide on this ominous outing, and she showed us three locations that have been touted by students past and present both to be more sinister than they may appear. Boone Tavern, Fairchild Hall, and Pearson's Hall are all highlighted in this edition of WBONTV's Haunted History, which is up now on the site in WBONTV socials. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. Happy Halloween! I'm Marissa Hempel.